What's good, y'all? Back again. Another day. It's me. Three days. What happened in three days? I'm leaving. He is so happy he's leaving, y'all. I'm my, gonna miss him so much. I'm gonna my, be so sad. My but baby doggy's gonna be there. He done threw us away for a dog. That's all it took. A dog. For him to just forget about us but I'm so happy because we are finally starting to move we have the keys and access to the place so we're taking stuff from here and putting it over there so that's what's going on right now Amir why are you doing that why are you doing that why are you doing that yeah, as you can see, we are getting a lot of this stuff out of here. Packing is going well. It's actually moving week. So we are moving stuff in, moving stuff out. The good news is a lot of this stuff is already packed up. We just have to move it. So the movers are coming this weekend, but the goal is to try to get as much stuff done as we can now. So that way the movers don't have that much work to do, which essentially is gonna save us some money. So we're working on that. Uh, yeah, guys, it's just moving, 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 moving. Moving Chronicles. Um, you know, hopefully this will be the last time that we move for a while. Um, with this move, you know, we just needed more space. Which, of course, as you know, more space is more money, but it is what it is. We had to upsize. Um, the goal is to move, make sure that we have enough room. I finally get the office that I wanted when we moved here, but I never got. The kids get their own bedroom. Koi gets his bedroom. And then we have our bedroom. We just have pretty much everything that we wanted and we should have got with this one, but it didn't work out. We're gonna have with the new one. Oh, look who decided to join us. Packing. Me and Tommy went to 7 Eleven and we found collar gummies. So my dad went upstairs to bust his teeth. Then we're gonna try the collar gummies. Y'all, I feel bad. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on, but my body, man, is so weak. And my throat was starting to hurt. I got Vicks Vapor Rub on right now. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie and sweats because your boy is just not feeling good right now. But the moving chronicles are still in effect. As you can see, the truck is packed full of stuff taken over to the new house. Um, Y'all, your boy is going through it, man. Um, still working, you know what I'm saying, full time. Still studying at night, trying to pass the home inspectors classes so I can get my license and kind of be able to maneuver around a little better. So, since a lot of y'all like unboxing, when we get back to unboxing, which I don't see, I don't foresee being anytime soon because right after we move, next week we go into a family reunion. And then my cousin Carl was getting married, so we're going to a wedding in Philadelphia. And then after that, it's the baby shower. And then not long after that, the baby's coming. So money, 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 money going out, and not as much coming in. So with that being said, it's gonna be a little hot second before we get back to the unboxings of sneakers. But I do have baby girl stuff that we gonna unbox. I think I'm gonna wait until the baby shower. That way we can just open it all at once and see what she got. But, man, I'm telling y'all. Your boy is sluggish today. I don't know what's going on, if it's stress, if I actually have something or what, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But we're gonna keep pushing because what choice do we have? Stuff so still gotta get moved, still gotta pay these bills, still gotta push forward. Um, 
What up, what up, what up, y'all? Of course, as you know, Moving Chronicles is still in full effect, but it just crossed my mind, so I just wanted to take a second to shout out my guy Daniel, man. He is always, always, always supporting the channel, man. I appreciate that so much. Shout out to my guy Edwin, man. You know, it's some days where I look and my video only has like 25 views and 30 views. And I'm like, man, I'm done with this. I'm going to quit YouTube, man. But then I look at my comments, man, my boy Edwin is down there saying something super positive, man. And it's just like, just a deep, thought out, emotional response. And not emotional in like a weird way, but emotional and like he actually took the time to craft a comment, bruh. And it's like... Dog, y'all keep me going, man. Like, I can't even lie, man. Like, I really, really, really appreciate everybody that stops and drops a comment on the videos, man. I appreciate everybody that shoots me a text and says, hey, man, I like this. I would prefer you to just copy and paste it in the comments, you know what I'm saying? But I still appreciate the thought, you know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate everybody that when they see me, they say, hey, yeah, you know, I saw the vlog and, you know, I could tell y'all ain't watched the vlog, <laughs> but y'all still said y'all at least you thought enough to say, "Hey, you know, I saw it," and it's like that's cool, bro. Like, you know, because honestly, if a lot of y'all were watching the vlog the way that y'all say y'all do, I would have a lot more views. But I appreciate everybody, man. Like, it's it's super cool, man. Um, like I said, for me, it's kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone doing this thing so consistently dropping this, this these vlogs man so i'm extremely grateful man um even last week everybody that shouted me out and wished me a happy birthday man like i would love to just be able to sit down and say thank you to everybody but the way my life is set up right now it's just a little hectic but i appreciate everybody like don't think that, you know, I'm too big or I'm too famous. Not even famous, but I'm too busy to stop and say thank you. You know, I appreciate everybody, man, because seriously, I can't express enough. Like, you're taking time out of your day to drop a comment, whether it's happy birthday or great video or even sending a bunch of emojis, man. Like, I appreciate all of it because you don't have to be doing that. Like, we all have 24 hours in a day and... You know, that 24 hours could be devoted to anything. And even if you take a minute, 30 seconds, five seconds, you know, to spend it on this channel to drop a comment or just to even see what's going on. Even if you're being nosy, like, I appreciate it all, man. So this is the almost finished product. I just set a simple goal of making sure that I cleaned up everything off the floor, which ultimately I did minus a few small things here and there so this is the office um super excited about that we'll be setting up for the screen um sneakers down there a bag down there more sneakers on the wall i think i'm gonna get another one for sneakers that don't have boxes on this side my hats are here temporarily but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a hat wall right here where the hats are gonna be. Probably have a futon or a like, rest day chair or something like that right here. And I said for the night, so we'll see y'all in the morning. So this is the almost finished product. I just set a simple goal of making sure that I cleaned up everything off the floor, which ultimately I did minus a few small things here and there. So this is the office. Um, Super excited about that. We'll be setting up for the screen. Um, sneakers down there, a bag down there, more sneakers on the wall. I think I'm gonna get another one for sneakers that don't have boxes on this side. My hats are here temporarily, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a hat wall right here where the hats are gonna be. Probably have a futon or a, like rest day chair or something like that right here and that's it for the night so we'll see y'all in the morning all right y'all so we back on the camera which thank goodness man because recording on my phone is cool but i was looking at it it's like my head cut off and blah, 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 whoop, whoop, whatever so we back on the camera 
But yeah, man, it has been such an eventful past few days. Um, the movers ended up coming a day early at six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning, y'all. Six o'clock, man, we were tired. Um, luckily, wifey knew that they were coming early the night before because they were supposed to be coming on Saturday, but whatever the case may be, they ended up coming on Friday at six o'clock. So Thursday night, I was able to make a couple of few trips and get a lot of the stuff over so that we could cut down on the cost. And as it turns out, it took them three hours to move everything, which thank goodness, because with them doing it in three hours, the cost wasn't that much. It was actually cheaper than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, let's just say I had enough to even give the guys a tip. Pause. So yeah, it was really good. So, 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 so grateful for that. Um, we are still in the process of moving and the coolest thing I think for me personally is I have now an office area. It, it looks messy right now and yeah, Amir's toys are in here but they won't be here forever. Look at my toe, look at my toe. I got my whiteboards, I'm gonna be hanging those up, you know what I'm saying, the dead wall, all that good stuff, man. I'm super excited to have an office because now I can, oh, there we go. Let me show you that again. That's the desk for now. We are gonna be doing some live streaming. I can't wait to get back on live streams with you guys, man. Um, I did a live stream a couple months ago with um, the Super Friends. Shout out to my boy, Super Fly Kicks. Shout out to my boy Norman Nation. Shout out to Crow Guy Kicks. Shout out to Mud Talk Radio. Shout out to the infamous Sneakerland. All, everybody, man. Nikki Poo. The list goes on, man. Shout out to Dog on uh, SB Rami. Shout out to Sneaker 155. You know what I'm saying? Um, oof. Anyways, I was going to tangent just shouting everybody out, man. But. You know, now I can get back to doing live streams. There's still a couple more things that I need to fully get the video quality where I want it to be and the editing and the production level where I want it to be. But right now I'm just enjoying the moment, being grateful for what we have and working with the tools that I have in order to make the videos that I make it now. Cause this is the most consistent I've ever been in terms of vlogging and making content. So just on that alone, I'm extremely grateful, I'm extremely happy, and we just gonna keep on cranking, we are gonna keep dropping these videos. Um, like I said, I got the office now, slash studio, and the most important thing about that is now I have somewhere where I can kinda go and just think and plan and strategize and not be in anybody's way, and just be able to get on my whiteboards and put stuff up and actually focus on them and be in a room where I can look at it constantly because in the last place, you know, I had the whiteboard in the room, but you know, I never just sat down and actively focused on the whiteboards being in the room because when I'm in the room, there's so many other things that are going on. But now in the office area, you know, I can, I come in here and I know that I'm focusing on creating content, studying or growing things or reducing things, you know. Y'all seen my debt list, you've seen the debt wall, you've seen that stuff, so you know, the biggest goal is moving forward is paying that stuff down. Shorts, then you see, I have ate some fried chicken. <laughs> of all the things that I, of all the food that I could have ate to break off not being a vegetarian, I went and got the fried chicken. Ain't that a, <laughs> that is so crazy, but yeah, I ended up having to get some fried chicken, man. Um, so we're gonna start over, and it was about 21 days, three weeks, give or take. I wasn't eating anything other than, you know, vegetarian type food. So we're gonna get back to it. You know, we're gonna try again. We're gonna stay focused, you know. And more than anything, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to be a vegetarian or a vegan or anything like that. I just wanna be more responsible with what I eat and the frequency that I eat stuff that may not be so healthy. So, you know, that's the ultimate goal more than anything. <clears throat> the office is coming together. Last night, I'm gonna go ahead on and date this video. Last night, Travis Scott's video album dropped, Utopia. I checked it out, I listened to it about two times now and I think it's pretty cool. You know, I don't think that it's 
I think it's more so, I don't know. Like, I don't, it's hard to judge it right now because we waited five years and I was under the expectation that it was just gonna be groundbreaking and just this brand new body of music and something totally different. And it wasn't necessarily that, you know, it was, I definitely, I saw an article that said it had like Yeezus vibes and um, Pablo, I think. And I could definitely see that. Oh yeah, one more thing before I get back to Utopia. I am not on social media at the moment, guys. <coughs> I decided that I was gonna chill out. Well, I still have my Twitter and people DM me there. But as far as Instagram, and I don't actively check my Twitter either. I just simply respond to DMs when they come in. But as far as Instagram, I'm not on Instagram right now, I'm not on Facebook right now. I'm not really doing the social media thing at all. And today is like the first full day. And honestly, I can say that I've been a lot more productive, you know? Um, I've been out of the loop on a lot of stuff. Like, I didn't know Travis Scott's album dropped because I'm not on social media. So I just so happened to be looking at the news and I saw it and I'm like, oh shoot, let me check out this Travis Scott album. So that's how it happened. Um, a lot more productive, you know, that's definitely one of the benefits of not being on social media. But for me, man, I just needed a break mentally. And I promise, I know I'm kind of going off, but I'm gonna get back to the Travis Scott album. Um, you know, for me, man, it's just been really clearing to not be looking at social media because it's just so much information, there's so much going on and it's just the same conversations and all of that good stuff, man. Like, I just needed a break. I needed a break and, you know, I know a lot of people look down on that and say, oh, you can't handle social media, whoop de whoop blah, blah, blah. Cool, respect to you. But I'm glad that I took a break, even though it's only been like a day and a half. I'm truly grateful. You know, just this time alone, you know, my battery has been lasting a lot longer. I have so much more space on my phone. Um, I'm not really needing my phone as much because I'm not looking up something every time I get bored. I'm finding other ways to occupy my time, you know, so it's not for everybody. But, you know, if you feel like you're overwhelmed or you aggravated or you try to give social media a break. Just take a, you know, maybe, I'm just saying it may work, it may not, everybody's different. But for me, a day and a half in, I can honestly say like, I feel so much more present and in the moment, you know? But um, back to the Travis Scott thing. The album is cool, you know, maybe it'll grow on me. I've only listened to it like two times in between moving and whatnot, but you know, I think it'll grow on me. I think it's more, like I said, it's not, for me, it doesn't sound groundbreaking. It's not something that I haven't heard before. Um, I think I even said it sounded very familiar. But what I do want to talk about on this Travis Scott album that I don't think anybody caught yet. So if you hear, remember, this is where you heard it from first. Your boy is telling you. On Meltdown, everybody's talking about how Drake was going at Pusha T and Drake was going at Pharrell. And yeah, I got that. But I think Drake was also going at ASAP Rocky. And I don't think anybody caught that yet. And I'm gonna tell you why. I think Drake was going at ASAP Rocky. I think Drake was going at ASAP Rocky because he was talking about how somebody's hiding behind the American stuff and talking to the police. And he likes regular women, not famous women. I'm paraphrasing, but you know, don't forget, ASAP Rocky got locked up and we didn't really hear much about it afterwards. That's clue number one. Clue number two is when ASAP did that performance and he dropped that, you know, dropped that single where everybody was talking about he was dissing Travis Scott. I said that he was talking about stealing swag and stealing women. Drake might take that personally because Drake was dating or whatever he had going on with Rihanna at one time. And they both also used Project Pat a lot. They also had a Memphis sound and they also like Houston. So I was thinking ASAP could have also been trying to get at Drake. Cause remember Drake unfollowed him as well. So when Drake was talking about the American, hiding behind the American thing, I looked at that video where ASAP was waving around the flag talking about I stole your swag and I stole your, you stole my swag so I stole your, 
you know what I'm saying? Somebody was waving the American flag. You look at Ace of Rock, Rocky's first album cover, you got the American flag in the back. So I'm like, oh, Drake is going at everybody. He's getting at ASAP. Don't forget, when Rihanna announced that she was pregnant, Drake unfollowed her and ASAP Rocky. So I really think that Drake is going at ASAP Rocky too, and nobody, nobody caught that yet. I could be wrong, but I know how surgical and strategic Drake is with these disses, man. So that's just my, my conjecture. And like I said, I could be absolutely wrong. But um, anyways, cause this ain't no gossip page. Just, that's just on my mind and I love listening to Drake and that's just something that I thought about cause I know Drake is extremely petty. Um, the album is cool, man. I like the song with Beyonce. Um, I like the song with Tizo Touchdown. I like the song with um, Playboy Cardi. You know, it seems like Travis is going for like an Indica also or a chronic where he has a bunch of features and he's working on the production more so. So, you know, I got those vibes too. But like I said, overall, it seems like something that I heard before. I don't think it's that groundbreaking. I don't think it's that innovative. It's definitely gonna do numbers because Travis is super marketable right now. Everything that he touches is going crazy. So that's definitely gonna happen. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me and I listen to it more and I'll be like, wow, you know, but, hmm. I just listened to it a few times, then I went back to listen to Call Me If You Get Lost. Um, Quiet is kept, man. I think Tyler, the creator, is really climbing up there as one of my favorite rappers, too. But, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tyler's up there, though, man. And piggybacking real quick, one more thing. It's funny because as I was talking about taking a break from social media, I just saw J. Cole say that he was taking a break from social media. So that was just kind of ironic to me. But anyways, man, um, I'm going to finish working on the office slash recording studio. Um, I'm super excited for what's in store for you guys, man. Um, I'm in the process of cleaning up. Once I get everything cleaned up, I can kind of organize it the way that I want it to and go from there, man. So... Let me knock that out. I'll be checking with y'all shortly. All right. What's up, y'all? So it is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, fun day. We have a couple small errands to run. But before we leave the house, I wanted to show y'all this, which is actually kind of disgusting. I'm going to warn y'all. But y'all see all of this hair right here? That right there is a clump of hair that came out of my face. Here's the extractor tool right here and the tweezers. This came out of my face, y'all. I had an ingrown hair that just, well, ingrown hairs, rather, that would not go away. And <clears throat> it started with the pimple. Every time I popped the pimple, it would just come back right here. So yeah, it would just keep coming back. And it had this really, really, really nasty smell to it. So I asked Tommy if she could go and clean it out, and she did, and when she pulled it, it was a big old clump of hair, as you seen. Now, <clears throat> if I could get that to come up here, we would be good money, because it's curly and everything. But no, it was in my beard. So we got that out, it's gone, it's done with. So shout out to Extraction Tools for removing ingrown hair. But yeah, man, so we got some errands to run today. Here's Amir, it's Tommy. Hey, Amir, you say hey? Uh, look at our bedroom, it's so big. It's so big, I don't know if I'll ever give y'all a full tour because it's weird, but yeah. For sure, y'all bits and pieces. That's Tommy's closet. My closet is in my office, of course, because I have my own space to do what I need to do pretty cool but like I said we got some errands to run today we got a lot of stuff to do well not a lot of stuff to do let me not say that but a few minor things to do um, I got to finish cleaning up the room and then we'll be fully moved in for the most part minus a couple here and there so super excited about that um, we do have to go to Home Depot though because I am going to put this shelf back together that broke over time. 
because it came from Ikea. You get what you pay for. So I just need to grab some screws and some bolts so that I can put this together and it holds up until we get some really high quality furniture. So <clears throat> and we got to get some miscellaneous stuff for the house. So that being said, I'm about to put on some shoes. We're going to do what we need to do and I will holler at you guys in a few. What's good, y'all? So we back at the house. Um, we had to make a couple little errand runs. And so I know that I got some things that I'm gonna repair. Um, one of our nightstands was on its last leg for a very long time. And then when we moved, it kind of just tipped it over. So I was trying to figure out whether I needed to get some corner braces or wood glue in order to make sure that it's sturdy and it lasts, because it came from Ikea. And Ikea stuff is just a bunch of particle board and you know, you get what you pay for. So I was trying to figure out if we wanted to use corner brackets or corner braces or wood glue. And ultimately I decided to get both. Combination. Combination. <laughs> so we did that and then also Wifey had a um, towel rack that came off and the Allen wrench was broke. I mean, the Allen wrench was not small enough because I have so many Allen wrenches. I have a collection of Allen wrenches. I always keep them. But this Allen, Allen key, I should say, or hex key, whatever you call it, whatever you choose to call it. Either way, the ones that I had, none of them were small enough to get in there for the bathroom appliance. So I was able to rig it up, but it's not actually because the minute you touch it, it comes off. So, I got this cool little Allen key tool in order to knock that out. So I'm gonna be putting that together and then I'm gonna fix the cabinet. I mean, the nightstand, I probably won't show you guys this because it's only gonna take it two seconds. Or maybe I will. Yeah, fine. So, I'm gonna sit you guys right here and we're gonna do a little All right, so here's the nightstand in question. It's coming apart, very wobbly. So what I'm gonna do is secure it a little bit with the wood glue. Gotta put this back, reattach it, reattach the back. So we're gonna wood glue it just to add some support, tighten up a couple screws, add some screws, and that's what we're gonna be working on. That's the little mini, mini project. It shouldn't take too long at all. I'm actually going to get some gloves because I don't want my hands to have that wood glue feeling on them for a while and have a guess. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Uh. Hey. So we're going to knock this out real quick. What's good, y'all? So I'm still sitting here getting over my camera. 
but um, I'm listening to this podcast that my brother Daniel put me on. Shout out to Daniel. It's called The Blog Era. I think I'm probably just going to take a screen and put it over here. So it's called The Blog Era. And basically it's talking about how um, my generation, where I think I really fell in love and grew up with music, The Blog Era, which was like 2005 to 2013, I think that's what they call it, where like you had a bunch of mixtape websites. Um, my favorite was allhiphop.com and then Dat Piff. So I will always go on those two and get all my mixtapes and everything like that. And I'm just listening to the story and hearing how people tell it from a different perspective because I lived in it, but I didn't fully understand it to, you know, it's like when you're, sometimes when you're in moments, you don't it's realize so the moment and you don't understand so that it much. is in vibe a so moment. Much. Because you're it's living in it and you don't really realize how important years, it is. And <coughs> never anything Excuse like this. But anyways, I say all the of that just to say, survive like, right now, so we are in another keep one rocking. of those moments. It is what it is. And yeah, I'm going to tell you crazy. why. Um, um, right now, the actors and big. the writers are on strike as far as entertainment. And we got to go to Which the means old that people are going to have to turn there. somewhere in order to wrap this one up you know get sad, their entertainment the fixes um there's going to be a lot of underground things that pop up and get exposure and then youtube you know youtube right now is really 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 going to blow off the simple fact that people are going to have to turn somewhere um hollywood for a long time you know it has been very still with them making the same movies or sequels or reimagining old movies and not really coming up with anything creative or new you know that's why people really gravitate into barbie and oppenheimer the way that they are because they're totally new concepts even though barbie is an existing ip it's a new concept so anyways you know people are going to turn back to social media is going to go up you know it's going to have hits right now we're in a bubble basically that's what i'm getting at where you know a lot of stars are going to be created right here on YouTube and these platforms. And, you know, shout out to my brother Daniel. Again, I always talk to him and, you know, one of the main reasons I started this vlogging full time is because I was looking at so many people that are doing things and, you know, living life. And I realized like, they don't really have that finger on the pulse. Like they can't really read culture. They don't really understand to the magnitude that I do. And I have for a very long time. And, you know, I always felt like I never really got my credit for my eye and my ear. You know, I've been telling people about stuff for years. Like, a lot of my friends didn't really rock with Drake until I told them about it. J. Cole, Wiz, Mac Miller, like, Larry June. You know, the list goes on from a long time ago. People that really just popped and they blew up and they created their own lanes based on, you know, what they brought to the table. And I feel like... You know, I've been doing that for a very long time, but I never really focused on my creative aspect enough. Like I start and I stop. Like even if you go look at my old YouTube channel, well, if you look at my old YouTube videos, you'll see I have interviews and I have book reviews and I have all types of things and I never really stay consistent with it. So, you know, that's why this time I'm so gung ho about staying focused and knocking this thing out and constantly contributing and making content because I see what's coming as plain as day. You know, there's been times where I've been in moments and I've missed the moments, I future, you know, I remember when that was a thing. And weirdly enough, you know, I look at Tyler the Creator a lot because we're the same age. And, you know, I don't idolize him or anything weird like that, but I look at him as like a peer, because, you know, we're the same age. Larry June, you know, he's a lot later, but I look at him as a peer because we're in the same age. And these are people that invested in themselves and they took risks on themselves and they went after it for themselves. And so, you know, this is my way, guys. I'm giving you guys information and not in a chatty patty way or in a weird way. You know, I'm not trying to force things down your throat, pause. I'm just giving you, you know, what's popping, man. Like, like, and it sounds arrogant and it sounds cocky and it sounds like, you know, well, that's not really a product or a commodity. But, you know, understand, there's a lot of money behind catching trends and understanding trends and, you know, just being able to live the life that we really want to live, man. Because, you know, I do a lot of things. I've tried a lot of different things. And, you know, 
right now it's not necessarily about the money it's about fulfillment man when i'm recording and i'm talking to y'all i'm sharing things with you i understand that to a certain way i am influencing if you watch these videos you know what i'm saying because there's no way that you watch something and you don't take pieces of it even if it's positive or negative and you don't have some sort of influence on it even if you don't realize it or it has an influence on you rather you know so I'm throwing my name in the ring. I'm, you know, letting y'all know I'm going for everything. I'm getting it. We got a lot in store, man, because I'm tired of sitting back on the sidelines, just, you know, knowing that there's more out here. And the content is always going to get better because I'm going to give you guys the real. I'm going to show you. We, we're going to grow together. You know what I'm saying? As I'm doing things, as I'm going through experiences and things, I'm going to share it with you. And I'm going to keep it 100. It's not going to be... The cap is not going to be all that other stuff. I'm not going to be a one trick pony. Yes, I love sneakers. Yes, I love clothes. But the reality is I don't buy clothes all the time. I don't buy sneakers all the time because I got responsibilities right now. You know, I got a family I got to take care of. I got bills I got to pay. And, you know, I got debt we trying to work on. You know, right now it's about building. Yes, I'm going to buy sneakers. Yes, we're going to talk about them. But we're also going to talk about books because books are very, very, very important. Books is how you take in information. It's how you learn and how you grow. We're going to talk about all kinds of things, man. So if you're still watching, I support you. And I, I appreciate you for supporting me. And the camera's kind of blurry right now. I guess that's because a mirror. But, you know, it is what it is. We just got so much in store, man. Stay tuned. You know, just looking at... Um, all right, I'll be back. All right, I think I got it. But yeah, this is for my people, dog. Like, my channel, you know, it is what it is. It's gonna take a while to grow because I'm not focused on yeah, the so niche right now because there's so many topics that I wanna talk like about. We are gonna stairs. delve into that. There's yeah. a lot of things yeah. that we are gonna do, focus specifically yeah. niche. But I think I'm gonna create salmon, separate channels for that because, salad. you know, this right here, is, and I hate to say it because it sounds so generic, man, nice. lifestyle, but it's not the culture, but the lifestyle. It's though. everything, yeah, and it's all it. encompassing. It's for people that feel the way that I feel, and know, we got you know, you look at these celebrities, you look at these people, you think, yeah, you know. We do have this really I'm cool not that impressed. I mean, I respect their craft, I respect their work, I respect what they're doing, but you know, yeah. I but have the same know, creativity. I have the same vision, we you know, to the house, the old house. I got something to say too. And my voice is cracking, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. I got hair that you throw. But you know, we got show, work to do, so man. It's time for me. <clears throat> and listening to this podcast, I really encourage you guys to check it out, man. Um, it's very inspiring. You know, it, it's very, it puts things in perspective and we got work to do, y'all. Everybody, not just me. I'm not saying anything that's groundbreaking or revolutionary because we all have our own journeys that we have to chart and we all have our obstacles that we have to cross. But let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Let's get after it. Let's make it happen. I just had to get out, uh, uh, get that off my chest because I was listening. And I'm like, man, you know, these stories sound similar. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing. I'm going to holler at y'all in a second.
What up, y'all? So, this is the last hurrah. Kind of feel like Will Smith in the last episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, where he was just in the house and it was just him. That's where I'm at, y'all. You know, um, just walking through 2511, which was our last place of residence. Um, I don't know, man. All this time, I never really liked this place. I didn't really want to move here. Um, it was too small when we moved here. It wasn't what I wanted. We didn't have four bedrooms. We didn't have a garage. And, you know, I just thought this was a horrible, horrible, horrible mistake. And I just didn't understand why we moved here. But we didn't really have a choice. And now we're here, moving out into the next place, you know, and it's just like, Man, I think I'm actually gonna miss this place. So, let me give y'all a tour, man. Good old 2511. So this is the living room, of course, where we had the couch and everything is empty. Right there, we had to have a special board built to hold our TV because of this little nook that was here. We just couldn't figure out what to do with, so we had a guy mount the bracket to a piece of board and add some L brackets. This was our bathroom downstairs, the little powder room. My mom broke that, shout out to her with the superhuman strength. She was on She-Hulk mode. Nah, it wasn't that powerful. And this is our kitchen area, which I wasn't really a huge fan of the kitchen because it was so closed off and, you know, it just really wasn't that spacious, man. Um, but now looking back, I have very fond memories of said kitchen. You know, we had Amir's birthday party here and whatnot. Um, this is the laundry room area where washer and dryer was. And shout out to Tommy's parents. They got us the washer and dryer, man. That was super dope for them to do. And that's downstairs, you know? That's the downstairs area. And then we had a coat closet right here, which was always full because we just had so many coats and winter stuff. You know, as we were unpacking, I was able to pull out winter coats from like a year ago, well, two years ago now, that we couldn't even wear because we didn't have anywhere to put them in the closet so they just lived in the attic and we're going upstairs Amir climbed up these stairs couldn't climb down never tried to he was smart enough to know not to um this was Amir's room Tommy put up wallpaper and as you can see we did not paint so pretty sure they're deducting that but curtains came here to pick up these curtains and the rods and the screws. This was actually my closet. I came and I put my stuff in here, which as you can see, it was very small. <coughs> there was no room for all of my stuff. I put my pants up there, my shoe boxes down there. I also had a shoe rack right here where I kept the shoes. Um, that's the master, but we are gonna get there in a second. This was Koi's room. Had a nice little setup in here. Koi had his own room, just, you know, it's the right thing to do. He was the oldest, or well, is the oldest, so he had his own room. Boom, his TV was mounted as well. Shot a lot of Fortnite videos here. Oh man, I gotta fix this camera. In here, I shared a closet with Koi. I put all my fittings and stuff up there, and then my t-shirts and whatnot in there. This was the boys' bathroom. They shared it. Amir and Corey. We had the good old linen closet. And then this was the master. TV was mounted here, of course. This was our room. This was Tommy's closet. She had her own closet just because space and purposes. As you can see, she had so much stuff, she broke it twice. And then this was our bathroom, man. Hated the bathroom, because we did not have a double vanity 